The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera is a great camera, but on its own, it's definitely not a perfect camera. Thanks to some help from Tilta, this camera just got a major upgrade. A while back, we sent our Blackmagic Pocket 6K to receive the flip display and internal SSD modification, and we just got it back. One of the things that we disliked about the Pocket was the lack of screen articulation. An external monitor always seemed to be a must have, but now we can keep our camera set up light and nimble with this articulating screen. Tilta takes the existing screen from the Pocket camera and mounts it on a bracket, very similar to the way a Sony A7S screen articulates. This display can even go fully vertical, making it a better setup for filming yourself. Unfortunately, there's no way in the settings to flip the screen, so you're left with a fully viewable display, but everything is upside down. Hopefully a firmware update will eventually be pushed out to give us this capability. I'm impressed with the overall look of the modification. It doesn't feel janky at all. The lightweight, aero metal, and carbon fiber makes it feel like it could have come fresh out of the Blackmagic design factory like this. The camera body still maintains its compact and lightweight design and will still fit in your existing camera cage. But if you have a sun hood accessory, it will more than likely not work. Although Tilta did mention that they will be coming out with a new sun hood that mounts specifically to the articulating screen. I will definitely be picking this up once it's released because the screen is still a little difficult to view in broad sunlight, especially when viewed at an angle. One thing that I found kind of interesting once we got the camera back is that the screen's bezel is not equal on both sides. The left side's bezel is a little thicker than the right. This isn't really an issue, it's just something that I noticed, considering an unmodified Blackmagic Pocket doesn't have this asymmetry because it's covered by an outer frame. We're most excited to use this modified camera with our Ronin S. The flexible viewing angle allows us to get high or low shots and still be able to see the screen without having to mount an external monitor, which would add more weight and unwanted cables to the rig. Another bonus to this flip screen modification is that it adds a nice little space behind the screen for an M2 SSD, now making your external storage internal, which means no more SSDs mounted to your cage. Your media can now be discreetly tucked away inside of the camera where it should be. They rerouted the USB-C port back into the camera using a bridge module. This is basically two USB-C mail ports. One plugs into the original port, and the other goes through the body of the camera into the new M2 SSD that's tucked inside. The M2 SSD is smaller, faster, and more budget-friendly than traditional CFast cards, and they fit perfectly underneath the flip screen. This isn't the greatest news for people that have already purchased a bunch of Samsung T5 SSDs like us, but not to worry. If you prefer to use your T5s, you can. The original USB-C port is still intact for you to use. Tilta will supply you with the housing for an M2 SSD, but you'll have to purchase your own media. These SSD boxes are little shells, kind of like the media housings that Atomos supplies for their external recorders. Tilta sells the housings for SATA and NVMe drives. I'm a big fan of this new style of media recording. It fits perfectly into the body slot and doesn't affect the flip screen. It also distributes the weight much more evenly across the body of the camera. It also reduces the amount of cables on the rig, which is a plus. They've also totally removed those pesky rubber port flaps and replaced it with a new carbon fiber side panel. Each port has its own dustproof cover, making it a much less clunky design. They also added a new 3.5mm port. This will be used to connect external run-stop hand grips from Tilta. We have nothing but positive things to say about the screen modification. Although the process of getting it was another story. We sent off our camera to Tilta's Burbank office at the beginning of April, and they received it on April 6th. We were told they would need three to four days for the repair once they received the camera, and then it would be two to three business days for shipping the unit back. So we figured about a week or two without a camera, we could deal with this. Then we received an email from Tilta almost two weeks after they received our black magic. They informed us that it would be an additional three weeks before some updated parts came in. So we waited it out. Our camera was delivered back to us with a flip screen modification on May 29th, making this an almost two month process. Although the story doesn't end there. After receiving the camera, we realized that our USB-C port didn't work anymore. Our camera wouldn't recognize the new M2 SSD or our Samsung T5 when plugged into the original port. So we ended up having to send the camera back again, with Tilta covering the shipping costs this time. 
Finally, after another two and a half weeks of waiting, we received our fully functional modified camera on June 16th, making this whole process from start to finish about a two and a half month ordeal. We'd like to think that our situation was a one time only freak accident, but you never know. Just be aware that if you decide to send your camera in for this modification, that you may be out of camera for who knows how long. Despite the extended install process, we are really happy with the modification. The whole install cost us $528 plus tax and shipping. Tilta sells a self-install kit for a lower price point, but at the time of this recording, they're not offering it quite yet. So the only way you can have this modification done is to ship your camera to Tilta. So if you're looking for a really light and nimble setup without additional monitors and external SSDs, then this might just be the perfect setup for you if you're willing to brave the unpredictable install time. Or you could just wait it out and pick up that self-install kit once it's available. If you have any questions about this modification, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I'm Zach with Threefold, and thanks for watching.